I know what you're probably thinking. Lego lover, this is not the same Walmart that you always go in. And you'd be right. Also, there's a car. I don't know what that intro was. Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another LEGO Lover 117 vlog. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but to be honest, I just haven't I haven't been in the mood to do any of them. Uh, I was gonna do one a couple weeks ago when I went to go pick up Logan on Blu-ray. That ended up not working out, just because I didn't really want to do one, plus I went on the wrong day to go and buy it. I went a week prior to it coming out, and I tried to do a vlog then, but I got embarrassed because I went on the wrong day. So I deleted that footage. Like I said in the intro, this Walmart is not one that I usually uh, I usually go to. This Walmart's about a half hour away from my house, and I, it's what time is it? It's 11 o'clock right now. I don't have to be at work till four. Don't have to be at home till a certain time. I thought, why not make a little road trip out of it? Why not do a vlog on it? There's a couple other places around here that we might go in. I don't know if I want to buy anything when I go in here. I'm kind of looking for. Um, just so I can see it, I kind of want to look for the uh, Revenge of the Sith 3-pack um, for uh, Funko Pops. Uh, it comes with General Tarful, I think is his name, a 212th Legion Clone Trooper, and Emperor Palpatine, or Darth Sid, the DS from Revenge of the Sith. I've never seen one in person. I want to see one at some point. I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not. I'm actually not looking to spend any money, so it's probably... Not a good idea for me to be coming out uh, to different places, but you know what? It's Tuesday, get paid on Thursday, why not spend a little bit? I say this when I just bought a pop yesterday from FYE, which was like 1271. So anyway, my arm's getting tired holding the camera like this. It's not even a camera actually, it's my phone, but you know, it's getting tired, it's getting tired. So I'm gonna go in this Walmart, I'm gonna see if I can find it, and I'm gonna look at the price for it. It's probably gonna be like 20 bucks or something, so I don't know if I'm gonna... I don't know if I'm going to blow 20 bucks on it at this point, um, but we're going to go in here, see what we can find. This is depressing. Okay, so I'm just walking around aimlessly here, and I just came out of the Blu-ray DVD section. It's sad, man. This Walmart has one of the worst movie selections I've ever seen in my life. So I'm talking kind of quietly here. It's it's kind of crowded here, and like every single one of the employees were over in the DVD section, and they were watching me as I was filming everything. That's why I wasn't talking much. It scares me. It scares me a lot and people are gonna get suspicious if I'm over here talking to my phone. So, see if there's anything else. I'm in the bike tires right now. Ugh. Thomas Isles nowadays just depress me. Some cars die casts. At Master of the Lemons and at Wind Railway only. Actually, just Wind Railway only. Like, dude, that guy started a second channel for his car stuff. I mean, it's pretty impressive. Well, that was just a big fat disappointment. I mean, you all saw in the footage, the DVD section in there was awful. I mean, horrid. I hated, I hated walking in there for one thing. And I'm gonna turn on the AC in here. It's, it's hot, man. It's hot. It was kind of cool when I walked inside, but it's hot outside now, so. I mean, you all saw the pop selection they had. They had almost nothing. It was literally just some Power Rangers. There was one uh, Steve Trevor from Wonder Woman there. It was, uh, it was sad, man. I knew when I walked into the toy aisle 
that I wasn't going to see anything. Because the toy aisles, there's only three of them, and all of them are filled with stuff from 2014, 2015, that they should have put on sale a long time ago, and that are just going to sit there forever because Walmart wants to sell them at full price. So this Walmart, you probably, you can't see it, but hey, this is, this is kind of a cool link. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm just kind of cheap. Anyway, this Walmart is horrible. I'll probably never come back to it. It's just, it's worse than mine. And mine's not, mine's not horrible, but it's not very good either. However, now that I think about it, there's somewhere else that we can go. It's just over the rainbow, over there, except there's no rainbow. Uh, it's a little, it's a little place that, uh, how about we just, how about we just go there? Let me, I'll put my seatbelt on and just, just do it here. Now, I'm not going to pull an MPS and shoot. <laughs> I had the steering wheel down. All right, so maybe I am going to pull an MPS. This probably isn't very safe, but you know what? We're just going to do it for a little while. Uh, I'm in a parking lot, so it's probably not illegal, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. There's a stop sign up here. We're going to pull over here. So I'll tell you where we're going uh, before I make this curve. Before I make this turn, or while I make this turn, I guess. Where we're going is a little place that is commonly known to folks around here in Kentucky. There's Michaels. Uh, it's, we're not going to Michaels. Um, it's a little place called Half Price Books, and uh, yeah, they they um they primarily sell books and stuff, speed bump, uh, but they also have Blu-rays and d d DVDs, and it's actually where I've gotten a lot of uh, Thomas. Uh, DVDs from in the past year or so. Um, they have them at cheap prices too, so it's not like I'm overpaying for them. You see that Jason's Deli right there? Uh, that actually used to be a blockbuster. Uh, many a millennia ago, it was a blockbuster. So there's a little there's a little fun fact for you. Half price books, ladies and gentlemen. The land of really cheap reading material except nobody reads anymore and somewhat overpriced blu-rays but pretty good priced Thomas content that's why I like it look at that park job it's perfect and there is the logo half price books baby I had a buddy of mine who keeps pestering me to watch these. Isaac, if you're watching this, then uh, I'll get to it. I'll get to it at some point. <sighs> yeah, they've got these things uh, set up in like categories. We've got feature films. They're all in alphabetical order, so it's kind of nice. I bought this on my Voodoo for like two bucks. I haven't watched it yet because my Blu-ray player doesn't like Blu-ray. I always get about like a minute into the opening scene and then it freezes. Our selection's not too great today. Could get this, just the single disc. But I already have it in a multi pack. Why did I buy it again? I think I just got this off of eBay a couple months ago. So I just waited till now. They're all usually about four bucks a piece. So it's not. If you don't have any of these, then like, I guess it's good for you, but not for me. I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything, but I'm a weak man. And I haven't bought a new movie in a while, but um, I did pick up Argo from Half Price Books. It was, what was it, $4. I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen this movie before, but my history teacher tried to get us to watch this, 
um, during the last couple of weeks of school, but everybody didn't care about watching movies in history class because the year was practically over, including myself, because I watched the first half hour of this movie and I really liked it, but then I had to skip the next half an hour because I had to go take an AP test that day, and I came back and I had no idea what the hell was going on, so I just kind of gave up on it and I, I just watched Netflix. I just watched season two of The Flash during that. Yeah, I'm actually excited to finally watch this uh, in its entirety in uh, full 1080p uh, HD because um, my history teacher only had a DVD player, and I think her transfer of this movie looked like crap on um, on DVD. I mean, the picture quality just looked terrible. So I'm hoping it's fixed on the Blu-ray, but uh, if it's not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I'm going to do something with it, but I don't know what. The Thomas selection just wasn't it wasn't too great i know i kind of hyped it up earlier because oh i found so much stuff in here it really it really just kind of de depends on what people are trading in because they resell pretty much anything that people sell to them and then they resell it to you so if you know grandma gwyneth passes on bringing her 20 or so thomas dvds to half price books uh, I'm not going to be able to t uh, have my hands on Grandma Gwyneth Thomas DVDs. I don't know why her name is Gwyneth, or why she's a grandma, but it's my character, so please don't steal. Anyway guys, I only have about like 7 minutes of footage that I can take on my phone, because my phone is chock full of crap that I need to get rid of. So, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the only two places I wanted to go today was Half Price Books and then that Walmart over there was a little bust. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know when the next one's gonna be. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set the phone here. There, no, I don't have to hold it. And let me sit back to this. Like I'm, like I'm talking to you casually. Like you're sitting in my back seat and I'm turning around and talking to you casually. I don't know when the next vlog is gonna be. I know I'm going to Florida on June 22nd. I'm leaving then. It's either June 21st or June 22nd is when I leave for Panama City, Florida. Whoop, whoop. Uh, huge meetup down there. If you guys want to, I will not be getting out free rides in the Lego Lover Mobile because I will not be driving down there. But I'm going there. I'm definitely going to vlog that. So that might be the next one, but I'm not sure. If it is, then cool. But if it's not, then there'll be something else. But uh, right now the plan is to have the Panama City, Florida vlog be the next vlog and also if you guys missed out uh on it i put up a new roblox episode about two weeks ago it's me matt and roman play phantom forces for like 12 minutes and not a lot of people watched it so i'm kind of advertising it here like go watch that new roblox episode it's it's okay it's kind of average but trust me the next roblox episode is going to be better and then i also put up an unboxing last week where I unbox my building the new line PC game and a mystery Funko Pop. Not telling you what it is because it's not in the title of that. So go watch the mystery Funko Pop and Thomas building the line PC game unboxing as well. Do that. So before I ramble on any longer, I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, good night everybody. Except it's 1140. So technically it's not good night. It's good afternoon. But I'm still going to say good night everybody.